hi everyone welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial all right i'll be showing you how to design a double-sided business card here in coral draw so i'll be showing you um, a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how i normally design my business cards for my clients so um i'll be putting you through the size all what you, all what you need to know the fonts size and every other thing you need to have in mind before you design a business card so um without much being said let's jump right in all right so um first of all i have to make sure all my materials for the designs are ready so depending on the information you'll be using just make sure all of them are ready so i have them here so i have the logo and um some of the few write-ups and um, also these are some of the details i'll be using for it so um first of all this is, is the interface for the coral draw um design software i'll be using so this is coral draw 2020 so um firstly you go to um file and under file we create a new document so you select new or another way to do it is just Control plus n or you come to this area where you have this plus sign and you click on it so which of one works for you so control and that is what i'll use then this box is here. so um it gives you option to choose the name of the file you want to work on so um let's give it a name so you can give whatever name you want then um the page should be set to custom then the color mode should be rgb then page size should be a custom so um the size we'll be using the measurement size should be in inches yes so um so now this is one of the most important parts so the size i normally use for my business card is 3.5 inch that is 3.5 in width and 2.4 in height so um that is what i use and it has been working so well for me the results are always great so um like i said after this i'll show you a picture of the design will be doing i'll show you a picture of when it's being printed and how it turned out very great so um this should be 3.5 3.5 then 2.4 that is 2.3.5 in width and 2.4 in height so um resolution should be 300 we can actually change this later so um but standard this uh, 300 is the resolution that is actually okay so every other thing is okay then you click okay all right so this is the size we'll be working with so like i said we'll be designing a double-sided business card but first of all we we'll have to do the front first before the back they can actually do anyone first but um following um due process is okay and it's best to start with the front so um this is the size we're using this is 3.5 by 2.4 yes so let's copy our details here so this is the detail that will be on the front business card so you highlight and control c to copy so why it's good to always have your details ready is, is that um it saves you a whole lot of time and um it makes your work very fast and efficient so you paste control v so um this is a logo i created for a real estate company here in just nigeria so um i did some of their stationary designs and this happens to be one of them so um we've already gotten our size and so um let's begin the design process now so um head on to our toolbar section and then um, we select the rectangle tool so we just double click on it to assume the shape of the drawing page so this white area is the drawing page so you double click on it yeah you double click on it so this is it and p to fit the drawing page all right so this is our logo this is our logo so we let's ungroup this this is what we'll be using so the logo and these details here that will this is what will be on the front of the business card so before we start adding these details here we need to take note of some things too so um there's what we call bleeding points so we need to add it here so that it will we'll have some balance here in this design 
so um the details on the design the important details on the design shouldn't cross the bleeding point that is why it's very important so the size of the bleeding point here would be 0 0.25 inches in length you see this is what i mean so um let's create a duplicate of this just select this and hold control then you drag to the bottom then you right click to create a duplicate so um you come here select this then um it's going to be 3.5 by 0 0.25 so don't forget you want to create a bleeding point so um drag hold control drag to the bottom yeah then you select it again hold control right click to create a duplicate and you drag to the top so um let's add it to the left and right so you select it Hold control select it then select it again then this curved node appears hold control then you right click until it's at 90 degrees so um you select this hold on shift then you select the main um frame here and r and l yes r and l so you drag this to the bottom Hold control so you adjust so you duplicate this and hold um select it hold control then you drag to the right and you drag this here so what is the essence of this is just so that you have balance in the design and um every details we'll be using on this design shouldn't exceed this um bleeding point we created here so that is just the essence of it that is the best way i can explain it for you all right so um you can actually leave it like this or you can actually use some of the guidelines here so you just drag here then make use of the guidelines here and use it to make sure everything is properly arranged very well so you can actually decide these guidelines or this process um this process i showed you so you just drag so you zoom yeah this is okay so this is basically what i do so i make sure everything is properly aligned very well Alright, so after that you can actually delete this so this is actually what we're working with so and also you don't need to worry about the um guidelines when you want when you're done designing once you just select everything and group then you can actually export so um i think we also deleted the page we created so we just double click on it so it assumes the page size then you give it the color white then come here then remove the outline all right so let's begin to add our details let's not forget this is the front um, page this is the front page after we're done with the front we'll go we'll do the back all right so um this is the logo we'll be using so i created this logo for a real estate company here in just nigeria so um one thing about doing a business card, you have to make sure every element you're using is properly aligned. It's very important. So, um, P to free to join page and hold the, um, the sheet button to reduce the size uniformly. So, this is actually okay. I drag to the top a bit by holding control. So, let's change the color of this to white. Then, we'll make use of the rectangle tool. And you hold control then you drag to right and right click to create a duplicate so this is very okay so let's align this and increase the size hold shift to increase the size uniformly so um we need to pick a color from this logo so the way to do is just select your eyedropper tool so it picks this color 
then you apply it to this area here so you once you're done you select the pick tool so once you pick a color it appears at the document palette here, so you can actually use it yeah so the document palette is where the recently used color appear so this is it so these are the details that will be inside this area here yeah so so you can see so you just right click then you go to order then front of page and to make sure it's properly aligned so you select the text hold shift and you click on the rectangle here then c and e so it's actually aligned same thing to the um for this so you right click and order and um to front of page or you can actually use shift page up to to actually that is a shortcut key for it so let's increase the size of this so see this is fine so select the text hold shift click on this c and e yeah so let's remove this first so we need to use the same size so select this um, purple rectangle and right click to create a duplicate so you select this hold control and you drag and you follow the same process right click order to front of page and hold on shift c and e so this is it so i like this control g and hold on shift and select this white area and c to fit to the middle so um i think we are actually done with the front so i think we'll actually increase the size of this too i like the both of them hold shift and you drag so long as it doesn't exceed this bleeding point here so this is actually very very fine so you can actually increase the size to your own taste all right so um this works fine and also um once you've been designing for quite some time always endeavor to hit on the control save button so that um you always have a backup and also um i have a video in the description below on how to enable auto backup in coral draw to um to avoid control s every time so um i hope you find it very helpful so i think um we are actually done with the front so you come to um this area here and to page so this is it this is the front business card so um let's move to the back so um you come to this area here where you have this page one so by your left this is a plus sign so that is um you need to create a another a second page so you click on it so this is the second page this is the first page this is the second page so you can navigate between both of them so um let's create the design for of the back so you double click on the rectangle tool and we'll give it this color so you right click to remove the outline so um we have to make use of this logo so it's already grouped ctrl u to ungroup or you come to your property bar then you ungroup ctrl u it's very fast that is what i prefer so you just copy the logo icon ctrl c then ctrl v so you can actually see it so um i think we have to change the color of this to white yeah and also i think we'll need the color of this but first of all, I have to power clip both of them into this purple um, rectangle. So right click and you power clip inside. So you edit power clip. Yeah, so this is it basically. So, um, so this is what we are going to do now. This is a white color. And also, um, we have to use this. We have to get this color. So to use it, we have to get the eyedropper tool to sample colors and apply them on objects. 
so let's select this and you click on this it has assumed the color so we can undo that ctrl z i don't think we'll be needing this so you just delete so you highlight this and hold ctrl then you drag yeah, so this is okay this is okay then right click so but this time we'll give it a yellow color so this is how we're going to apply it so um but before that let's change this white to purple so that we can actually see what's here or better still let's control z let's still double click on the rectangle tool then give it a purple color so it's still the same thing so you highlight this and you drag and you click on it again then this curve node appears hold control then angle 45 so this is actually okay so you hold shift to increase the size uniformly all right so you just adjust your own taste all right so we can actually increase the angle again all right so increase it hold shift to increase the size uniformly Right, so and once you're done you can either click on finish or hold control and click on an empty space so um this is actually all right this is okay it's okay so um this is the detail for the second for the back business card so you just control c and come to this area control v all right so you change the color just for contrast sake all right so um basically so before that let's move the outline of this okay there's no outline here okay there is from the one we created inside so we can actually delete this yes so hold on control and hit click on an empty space all right so um the font size for this is six point so um for the name and the font name is montserrat so um check the family of montserrat to so, um this is montserrat bold extra bold sorry and um this is montserrat medium so um where we have lorem ipsum dollar so it can this would be the name of the person or the name of the manager or the ceo so and um if you notice carefully the important details didn't exceed this um bleeding point we created here so this is just for the importance this is the importance of the bleeding point here so this is just the very importance of it so you hold control then you drag yeah, so it shouldn't exceed this same thing applies to this you didn't exceed it and also don't forget to click on your control save so guys um, if you've watched this video up to this moment don't forget to hit on the subscribe button turn on post notification bell to get notified about upload new videos all right so um this is where the number is so depending on the information you'll be using here sometimes you might decide to use a qr code sometimes um you might decide to use the number whichever one you prefer so instead of writing all of this you can just use a qr code or depend um, continue your target audience you might not be people who are interested in using qr code you might choose to or my preferred numbers so it's always best to consider that so um some of the important things should exceed this bleeding point here so this does the essence of it and you make sure everything is aligned select this hold shift select this select this okay before that let's ungroup it control u okay yeah so make sure all of these are aligned i like this then l all right and i like this then c to make sure that properly aligned so you highlight this e i like this e so um 
I also have a video in the description below on some of the basic important shortcut keys here in CorelDRAW and also I differentiated between the shortcut key E and C. So I also have it in the description below, you can check it out. So I like this then E, I like this E, I like this E. So Ctrl G, Ctrl G to group, Ctrl G to group. Um, object and text together or any other element you have in Corel Draw Ctrl G Ctrl G and also we have to make sure the space between them are equal so you highlight the three then um, Ctrl Shift plus A once you press it um, the dialog box uh, this menu appears here not a dialog box so Ctrl Shift A and this appears here so um you select distribute bottom the yeah, space object evenly evenly they are from their bottom edges so this is the same thing applies to this and the same thing so just to make sure the spaces between them are actually equal all right so um that is it you can actually hide this so this is where the address this is for the phone number this is the title and the name of the person and this title so um basically this is it and to page so this is the back of the business card and this is the front of the business card so um this is it guys on how to create a simple double-sided business card here in coral draw right um it's very simple and very very easy to do so um i'll be attaching a photo of the printed version of this after this video so i'll be attaching a video of it so you can actually see when it's being printed and the importance of the bleeding point we added here so um you can actually try it out too maybe when i hope this helps you too yeah i hope this helps you when you want to do your next business card design so um if you found this video helpful do all to hit on the subscribe button turn on post notification bell to get notified about the new videos and don't forget to like share and comment on our videos thank you for watching and um see you on the next video tutorial all right guys so um this is the a picture of the front and back business card that we just designed so this is the printed version of it so um thank you for watching guys and um also there's a video in the description below on how to lay a double-sided business card design for print so you can actually check it out too thank you for watching